what's going on guys back at you with another video thank you for clicking on the video and at least giving me a shot you know checking it out and see if it's something you'd like to see i'm gonna go ahead and ask you guys to do something that i rarely ever ask you to do which is not only to subscribe but also click that bell my research tells me that most of the people who view my videos are not yet subscribed so once you subscribe go ahead and click the video so that you will be alerted when i put out a video uh, the YouTube algorithm overall, not just with me, has been acting really funky lately. Lately, A lot of channels much bigger than my own, been around a lot longer than mine, uh, have been complaining about the exact same thing. So we do what we can do to survive the YouTube algorithm, which can often be very brutal. Now, today I'm going to show you guys, in case you don't already know, how you can get Hadrian, the scientist, um, and she probably holds other titles as well. She's a brilliant person. She's one of the people who was uh, instrumental in the research with the Terramorphs and how to use them for weapons uh, during the big war in the Starfield universe. And if you've looked at some of my other videos, you know who Hadrian is. If you don't know who she is, look at my Terramorph videos on the channel. Um, I think you'll probably like them. I hope you will. But if not, just do a little research. We're not going to cover Hadrian right now. For those who know who Hadrian is and you want to hire her, there's a particular thing that you're going to have to do. Now, knowing this game, there are probably other things you can do. But one thing I'm going to tell you for sure is not going to work is depending on your relationship thus far with Hadrian uh, to get her on board uh, when it comes to working with you. She's taking her her work very seriously, her new assignment. If you played the Terramorph narrative, you know that they've authorized the reopening of the Red Devils facility where they are basically doing what they were doing before, which is studying Terramorphs. So she's taking that very seriously. You can ask her as many times as you want. She's gonna shut you down. She's not gonna accept your offer to come and work with her. There is one thing that I did that's very simple. I don't know if there's other things, but there is one thing that you can do that's very simple. And the hardest part is to visit the facility on Mars. Now, if you're someone who's good with the fast travel and keeping yourself light so you can fast travel because you know if you're over encumbered, you won't be able to fast travel. But the thing you want to do is this. You want to go to the facility, and when you go to the facility on Mars, the old Red Devils facility, I advise going through the back door. Now, where's the back door? The back door is the door that you originally went through. If you played it the way I did, I decided the way that I took care of Percival Walker's debt I went to get some research that he was working on at the Red Devils facility. And when I went there, it was populated with spacers. And I took the spacers out. That was a pretty good little gun battle. And I came through and I looted the place. And then I took the research and I took the research back uh, to the trade authority, if I remember correctly. And I used that research, which they thought was very valuable to take care of his debt. So that door that you come to to take out those spacers, that's the back door. Because now that you've opened the place up and the place has been authorized to open, you can go into you can go in through the front door. The reason why I'm telling you to go through the back door, which is just a recommendation on my part, you don't have to do it, is because I found that when I went through, there was more loot in there. Now I looted it the first time. When I went back the second time, I really got some really good loot out of that place. So Check that out, see if the same thing works for you. If it doesn't, no harm, no foul. But anyway, after you get through all of that, and you don't have to do it this way if you don't want to, there's a much easier way to get there, but this is the way I decided to go. Anyway, you arrive there. Now, if you want to, you can walk straight over to Hadrian and you can ask her if she'll come with you. She's gonna shoot you down. It's gonna sound, she's gonna shoot you down categorically. She's gonna let you know that, no, no way, that's absurd. Like, almost like she wants to call you stupid for even suggesting such a thing. You know I can't do that. I've got an assignment. But I'll never say no to a visit when you're in the area. Remind us all how much we owe you. Or you can walk right over to Percival Walker and start a conversation with him. Now, in that conversation, if you accept working with him and taking on assignments for him, he's going to let you know that he's going to talk with Hadrian and he's going to talk Hadrian into working with you. 
There is just one additional wrinkle. You see spec this as a one-person job, but I convince them this sort of task merits expert backup. So, if you're interested, they've agreed to let you take Hadrian with you. You'll have to convince her, of course. But I don't think she'll fight you too badly. I expect she wouldn't mind too badly being out there herself, so pay her a visit before you head out. Now, let's get you the details of your first quarry. Now, be careful when you talk to Hadrian because you may be able to say the wrong thing and get her to shoot you down again. But if you're very careful, she will gladly work with you. Now, me personally, I took the route of not telling her that her father uh, was still alive. I feel kind of guilty about that. <laughs> yeah, I know it's a game, but I, I feel kind of guilty. You know, she's a really cool character. Her, Both her and Percival Walker are really cool characters. I don't know. Maybe I'll have the opportunity to tell her later that her father's alive. I don't know if I would do that or not for a couple of different reasons. Uh, number one, I don't want to take the chance on losing her. But anyway, guys, that's all I want to talk about today. Thank you for watching the video. And if you get the chance, go over and visit the channel. Like I said, uh, YouTube has been really uh, stingy with me uh, and also other YouTube channels, but they can afford it because they're much larger than I am. But I'm a growing channel. I'm still small. So if you get some time and you happen to catch this video, go over to the channel, go over to the channel and check out some of my other videos. Some of it is gameplay, no narration. And some of it is kind of like mini documentaries, mini essay type videos where I am, of course, narrating. So anyway, check that out. And hey, guys, as usual, stay safe.